I'm starting to go through all my stuff before moving and see what stuff I can unload and I found my old computer. This was what I called Frankenstein's Amiga. This is an Amiga 500 motherboard and a Amiga 501 expansion, memory expansion. It was it would sit on several National Geographic magazines and it would through this expansion slot would plug into this expansion connector, big expansion box, and it was powered by that IBM AT power supply that would plug in over here. Now this expansion box was designed for an Amiga 1000 and so it had to be tr flipped upside down to plug into this expansion port which is why this motherboard was put on several magazines to raise it up to the level that would sit on this. And here's the floppy drive. And some sort of video box I can't quite remember the uh, use of that anymore. I don't know if anyone else would ever figure out how to connect this. I have a, a jury rigged reset button here. Just wired into the motherboard. Thanks my old friend Charlie. And then I, I don't remember what was on that. This is, oh, this is a keyboard connector. That's right, the Amiga had a like a RJ6 or something weird like that. So that is RJ11 or something. And uh, yeah, that was Frankenstein's computer. Frankenstein's Amiga. Uh, still works, as far as I know. It hasn't. It worked. When I put it in this box, imagine it would work if we're all hooked up, taking it out. It has a little more memory than my Amiga 1000, which I have sitting on my desk. But uh, yeah, I don't know whether to take this to electronics recycling or or try to find someone who would want to use this because I know there are a lot of people that still use Amigas out there but I only have a couple weeks before I move so I gotta figure out what I, what I want to do with this because it takes up a lot of space because of this expansion slot. I'm not sure what this what this thing's for. It's just an empty case or something and I, I think I think I may have had a, a hard drive in there. I think I had a 40 megabyte hard drive. 40 megabyte. Not gigabyte. Megabyte. That was my first hard drive. Uh, or was it six? I don't know. Oh, I know. I had a six gig after that. But yeah, so. Nostalgia. I have a hard time getting getting rid of old things. Particularly, particularly when they still work. I know this still worked. But would anybody be able to figure out why it's spread out the way it is? This is well, these things are never designed to fit together, but they did, and they worked. So there you go, Frankenstein's Amiga. Oh yeah, there's some weird uh, writing on this uh, Amiga 500. The Amiga crew always had odd things on their motherboards. Here, this one says B52 Rock Lobster. GRRJSP Gway Fish RBW VFA DSDC. I'm not sure what the rest of that stuff means, but Rock Lobster? I don't know. And of course, their uh, ship here, the Fat Angus. And there's Paula. That's very classic Amiga stuff there. There's Denise over here. And uh, there's Odd CIA and Even CIA. I think that's actually uh, functional names, though. I'm not sure what else is odd on here. But yeah, I thought that, that was... I don't, I don't know what the deal is with the Rock Lobster. Well, I found out what this uh, thing was for. I found the 40 megabyte hard drive. That's right, 40 megabyte hard drive that goes inside that. It's an expansion slot for the Amiga. And, uh, another expansion card there for the Amiga. More part of Frankenstein's Amiga. And I think this video thing is for the Amiga 1000 
to allow it to connect to a monitor. I'm not entirely sure. And uh, got some old Amiga software. If anybody's interested in taking uh, where did I put it all? Right here. Their finest hour, that was a great game. Nights in the Sky. And some other games you can't quite see there, 68 Tech Sub. That's like the whole Aces collection up there, Aces Pacific, Aces over Europe, and Red Baron. Um, what was that? That is a Lombard RAC Rally. And I bought my Amiga, my original Amiga 1000 from a developer. And so I have all of this. The developer's documentation. Let's see how deep it goes here. And it's got hardware manuals, C manuals, Pascal manuals. There's a WAC disc for debugging in there. And all the technical manuals for the media. Even the, you know, dear developer, thanks for working with Commodore, etc. etc. So, I think people might be interested in that.